We got Picnic Girl Elena. Yo, what is up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Battle Revolution. We're back again here, going in, having a good old time. If you guys missed the last episode, be sure to go ahead and peep it. It was freaking amazing. I had a really, really awesome time. But uh, anyways, here, we got Chingling, Staravia, Dustox, Meryl, Beautifly, and Lickitung. Seems like just a big old mixture of a bunch of Pokemon we've already seen, except I don't think we've seen Meryl yet, and I don't think we've seen Chingling. Which is interesting. I don't think it's going to be anything new. I think it's still going to be a pushover. But, you know, it's just it's cool to see a new face. I just wish we were seeing some new faces on my team, to be honest. Uh, I really got to figure out how to gain access to the Nate Pass. But anyways, with that being said, thank you guys so much for your support on this series. Uh, I am bulk recording these episodes, so if you guys did let me know how to unlock the Nate Pass in the comment section of one of the previous episodes, unfortunately, I haven't been able to see it yet, so I'm sorry. Uh, but very, very soon here, eventually the episodes are going to catch up. And uh, I'll be able to respond to you guys in real time. But also, I've been mentioning it over the past few weeks, but I have a ton of trips coming up. So, uh, odds are it's going to be a lot of bulk recording just over this next month or so. Uh, so, don't expect anything too crazy. I'm really, really sorry. I mean, there's really not much I can do about that. It's just kind of what I got to do to keep the channel consistent. You know what I mean? So, anyways, actually, speaking of trips, I'm leaving literally tomorrow. Today is May 17th. It's the same recording session. I'm leaving tomorrow. Uh, May 18th, it's a Friday for Chicago. I'm going back up to Chicago, which is where I grew up, and uh, it's I'm going back to my hometown and stuff because my cousin, shout out to David, he is graduating from high school. So we're driving all the way back up, and then Saturday is graduation, and then we're driving all the way back down. It's gonna be it's gonna be a process. It's like a nine-hour drive. Uh, so it's gonna be a lot of fun though. It's gonna give me a lot of time to do a lot of the editing like while we're on this road trip I just got to make sure I prepare and I record a bunch before I leave and the next week is gonna be finals uh, So that's gonna be that's gonna be fun uh, And uh, also there's the June trips that I've been mentioning I'm gonna care to take off my socks because not gonna lie. It's pretty hot in here I'm sweating up a storm. I've been recording for like two hours, so or not two hours. It's been like an hour. Never mind. I take it back. That was totally incorrect on my part. I don't know why it, it felt like two hours. Um, which actually, I mean, these episodes have kind of been flying by more than anything. A good thing about this series is that it doesn't it doesn't require a lot of, a lot of um, a lot of focus. You know, I'm not trying to win a nuzlocke. I'm just sitting here having a good old time, hanging out with you guys, trying to commentate and just. Have a, have a good old time. That's literally the whole point of this series, right? Is to have a good old time. So, hopefully, guys, having a good old time. Hopefully, guys, having a fantastic whenever whatever day this is going up. Uh, thank you guys so much for supporting this series. As always, you guys are flipping beautiful. And um, yeah, so hopefully, because I I'm being kind of forced to get ahead with all these trips coming up. Hopefully, that'll lead me to to being just more ahead overall. Now that I'm being forced to do it, hopefully, you know, after I get back, I'll continue to do it. And we can continue to be ahead with stuff. Maybe not like to the same extent, because with these trips, I'm literally gonna have to be like two weeks ahead with content, which is actually ridiculous. Uh, also, side note, with the schedule and stuff, I'm trying to push these episodes out daily, Monday through Friday. And I'm not sure how well that's working, because I mean, I'm ahead with the recordings, but the editing is a whole nother story. Uh, so I'm crossing my fingers. Hopefully, 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 I'm dropping these episodes daily. But, uh, because I'm definitely like. Ahead enough with the recordings to do it. It just all depends on whether I can get them edited and pumped out in time uh, I'm really 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 gonna strive for that But the whole daily thing probably isn't gonna last too much longer if it is lasting uh, Just because of the fact that we're gonna be starting up our next solo LP our next Nuzlocke our next actual spiritual successor to uranium So look forward to that. That's gonna be absolutely ridiculous uh, But that series I'm not gonna spoil it yet, but all I'm gonna say is that it's about to be freaking nuts um, that series, I'm going to be getting the graphics probably in about a week or so, and then I'm going to have to make the intro and stuff, so that'll probably, hopefully, ideally start up before I leave, uh, for all my big trips in June. So, once that all starts up and we're good to go, then, um, then we'll probably have that, like, three times a week, and then Battle Revolution will be, like, three times a week, too. So, we'll figure it out. I'll figure out the schedule. Maybe Battle Revolution will be, like, Tuesday and Thursday. And then uh, the next series will be Monday, Wednesday, Friday. We'll have something like that. So I'm working on it, all right? I'm, I'm working on it. I'm doing the damn thing. I'm making it happen. Charmeleon is here, though. He's roaring like a monster. He's like, <laughs> That's more like a Charmander. But uh, in reality, that was that was kind of a reference to uh, the Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon co-op that we're doing. Which, by the way, June 1st, the finale of the co-op is happening. It's going to be an IRL 
um, IRL co-op episode because I'm actually going to Ryan's house. That's one of the big trips I'm doing in June is I'm going to be in Michigan for like five days at Ryan's house. And I'm going to be going to his and Danny's prom. It's going to be freaking amazing. But um, So yeah, we're going to be doing an IRL co-op episode, the finale of the co-op. We're going to be finishing it on Ryan's channel on June 1st. So look out for that. It's about to be freaking nuts. But anyways, uh, I kind of got off track there. But in co-op, right, there's this on-running joke slash meme that apparently I can say RAR. Like, my RAR is super, super cute. And I agree. I, I don't know. I didn't even know I had this talent. But, like, bro, I, I have a really cute RAR, and I don't know. I don't even know why. I don't even know how it happened. It just kind of emerged from the co-op streams, and then people kept asking me to do it, so I just kept doing it, and then here we are. So, yeah. RAR! <laughs> You see, my voice is pretty deep. Like, I like to think I have a pretty deep voice for the most part. Uh, but I'm able to go really high. Like, I, I can I can hit some some pretty crazy high notes um, a lot of the time. So that's that's pretty cool. I'm, I'm pretty proud of that. Anyway, Cindy's I, trying to read the... They don't even give you enough time to read that dialogue. That wasn't me skipping through it. That was the game. You don't even have a chance to read that. I don't know who they're kidding by even having that dialogue in the game. It's honestly just a waste of text. Ariel, yo, is this the little mermaid? Bro, and we're twins! What is with all the clones? Oh my god. This is the fifth battle, though. Yo, we're probably going to be finishing this Coliseum in today's episode, which is kind of nuts. We are making our way through this game. We are plowing through this game. And what's even crazier about all this is, uh, and I'm actually like really, really proud of myself for this, but this is the fourth episode, I'm pretty sure. And I literally, like, the series hasn't even started for me yet. Like, I'm still editing episode one. Um, as of recording this so th this just goes to show you guys I'm really 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 trying with this series I'm really trying to push it because I'm having such a good time doing it and um, Especially with summer right around the corner I really 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 want to push and make sure we have content despite the fact that I'm gonna be gone uh, for so long So we're gonna go ahead and grab let's see we'll grab Charmeleon. Why not? Why not? I do want to try and give Ivysaur some screen time, so we're going to try and rock out with him first. Also, I think Ivysaur could do a good chunk to his team, depending on who she leads with. I keep calling her a he. I'm sorry about that. Battle 5, we have a knockout battle. I'm also really, really pumped to get into, like, some of the more different battles. Like, instead of just, like, the basic single battles, we can start getting into some, you know, better stuff. We have a Poliwhirl here, which is perfect from a Magical Leaf. Poliwhirl's about to be on the receiving end of that, which is unfortunate for him. He goes for a substitute. Oh, okay. All right, man. So you're going to sacrifice your sub for the sake of you not having to take a grass type attack. I mean, that's respectable. That is, that makes sense. But, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'd much rather it actually hit you. I mean, I might be a little bit biased. Yo, can we just talk about how Polywell's trying to go and box someone? He literally looks like he's ready to fight. Like, he has no teeth to get knocked out. He is ready to go. He has no mouth, no teeth to get knocked out, no blood to be had. He can literally just pull out his boxing gloves and go, BOP! Bop someone in the mouth. And then they can't bop him back because he just doesn't have a mouth. Yo, Pokemon Theory, um... <laughs> does Poliwhirl actually have a... Or no, no, Pokemon Theory. Um, uh, Poliwhirl is a professional boxer, confirmed? <laughs> but that's just a theory. A game theory! Thanks for watching. Why does he gotta go for the hypnosis? Why do you gotta do this, man? Oh, look at how cute Ivysaur is asleep. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and switch out, though, because... Or am I? Nah, I'll stay in. I'll wait for him to wake up. I believe in Ivysaur. Ivysaur is better than this. Ivysaur knows how to wake up. He knows how to be woke. I believe in him. This Poliwhirl is actually the most annoying Poliwhirl of all time. I have... Yeah, and, and the berry, of course. Uh, yeah. No, he's the most annoying Poliwhirl. By the way, no disrespect to, uh, to Game Theory, by any means. I actually really enjoy, uh, MatPat's stuff. He does a really good job with, uh... Especially, like, the editing in his videos. I know he doesn't edit it, but, like, it's just... The, pr the production value is there, and the fact that they're able to put out one every single week is pretty impressive, not gonna lie. Um, so anyways, hit him with the Magical Leaf. Poliwhirl, you're really just, you're really just prolonging the inevitable, I think is, um, the best way to describe the situation. Uh, side note, let me know down below, I've, I've been basically asking this in, like, every single episode. Uh, so actually, I, I don't know if there's any point in, in mentioning it again, but do you guys like the, col the coloredness of the lighting? Are you guys digging it? Um, not gonna lie, it's... We're losing some frames, which is which is really 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 flippin' annoying. And I'm looking at the face cam now, and I'm starting to get more annoyed by it. Uh, I mean, I'm sure it's not a big deal for anybody but me. You see, I wish I could get the lighting right, but it's it's so tough to do it and like not have this this frame rate lag. It's 
it's it's really really tough not gonna lie and the, the more i look at it the more annoyed i'm getting so i'm just gonna stop looking at it hopefully it doesn't like freeze or anything that would suck or hopefully i'm i'm honestly at this point i'm more scared that it's gonna become like desynced like it's gonna be desynced for my voice but i don't think it will be because then that would literally make all four or three of these episodes that i've recorded an absolute pain in the ass to edit that would that would actually suck but anyways wormadam i got wormadam just kind of freezes there for a second and then and then passes out Wormadam, i'm sorry hit him with that fire fang we built i'm sorry but you do not stand a chance you just got fisted look at the fire effect going down the health bar that is ridiculous man i i love this game have i said that enough already i feel like i haven't said it enough i don't know if i mentioned it yet but yo i love this game Anyways, are we almost done with this Coliseum? I think we literally just have like one more battle, right? Go back, go back under the sea, under the sea, under the sea. I haven't seen the Little Mermaid in forever. Uh, we got Todd, the sci-fi maniac. Okay, this man looks like... Not gonna lie, the, fir the first thing uh, that I thought of, this is the semi-final by the way. Oh shoot, he has some pretty powerful mons. Um, the first thing that I thought of was... Was, uh, uh, uh Ida from My Hero Academia, which by the way, shout out to My Hero Academia. My Hero Academia has been freaking nuts, and uh, I'm absolutely loving the uh, the show right now. I'm sure a lot of you guys are watching it too. It's it's a freaking awesome anime. No spoilers down below in the in the in the comment section, but um but yeah, no, if you guys if you guys like anime, I mean, My Hero Academia is is the one for you. Even if you don't like anime, My Hero Academia might be the one for you. You don't know. He says, "Do you like my latest outfit?" And then he said, "Get ready for it. Get ready for your outfit." What are you gonna do? You're gonna throw it at me? You're gonna strip down and just like start chucking your outfit at me? Is that how this is gonna go? I feel like that might be cheating. I'm, I think that might be against the rules. Especially because that helmet looks hard, man. That looks like a tough helmet. I really don't want to get smacked in the face by that helmet. I mean, if I was wearing the helmet and then you smacked me in the face with another helmet, that wouldn't be as bad. But the fact that I am currently bare boned except for like a little flimsy hat and you're throwing hard ha helmets at me, like that's, that's not okay. That's like a biker helmet. And yeah, those things are tough as hell. Uh, it goes with the sonic boom. Man, I love the animations in this game. I don't know why, but they're just so freaking beautiful. We're gonna go for the Fire Fang. Literally, his entire team is weak to fire, I think. Except for, like, I guess the Laron, because he's part rock. Um, so, yeah, get out of your Yanma. You tried. I don't know... I don't know what kind of aesthetic this guy is going for. He kind of... Like, he's going for, like, the futuristic kind of... Like, I, I don't even know. It, it kind of looks like a gym outfit. Like a, like a workout outfit. But it also kind of looks like a futuristic bicycle get up. Get, I, he looks like, um, he looks like, that looks like something the Ultra Recon Squad would wear, if I'm being honest. But yeah, Wormadam just got plowed over. Charmeleon literally shows no mercy. Charmeleon is burning up the entire frame. Charmeleon does not care. He is roasting fools left and right and center. He does not give any craps. And Mawile, dude, this is the easiest battle of my career. Mawile's not even fairy type. Mawile's not even fairy type. She can't even, she can't even protect herself. Not that the fairy type would really help much, because fairy is not very effective on fire. Yo, Moel took the hit though. Okay, now we have a now we have a fight. Iron defense. All right. Respect. Yo, we might be able to get through like, like the rest of this coliseum, and then also the beginning of the next coliseum too, dude. We are flying through this game. Bulk recording does like miracles, dude. I gotta start bulk recording more. This is fun. <laughs> This is fun, but the problem with bulk recording is I feel like it only works if you're in like a commentary mood um, if, if you guys make content you guys probably know what I'm talking about here But like there's a certain mood you have to be in or at least at least for me I feel like a lot of content creators can relate to this though You have to be in a certain mood to commentate if you're not feeling it that day Then dude, this man got really serious I don't even know what he said because I couldn't read the text in time, but he fell on his knees. This man was gone. This man collapsed um so yeah, I feel like, I feel like, especially for me at least, we have Cosmic Leader Taylor. Aw, oh, she's a cute little, little cat girl. I, I forgot what, like, what she is exactly. I, I totally forgot about a lot of these leaders. Um, so yeah, going back to commentating, I feel like you have to be in a specific mood for it, especially for me, because, like, if I'm not feeling it that day, if I'm not, if, if I'm not feeling creative, if I'm not, like, um, able to speak, if I'm not wide awake, if I'm not focused... Uh, then commentating is, is really tough because you always got to be keeping a conversation going. You always got to be trying to be entertaining and it's a lot. It's a lot. It's something that takes a lot of practice and uh, honestly the best tips I can give if you guys are trying to improve your commentary skills is um, just try and like practice. Just try and practice. After doing a lot of videos, after, after doing a lot of commentary and getting a lot of practice with it, just like anything, you're going to get better at it, you know? It just takes time. 
Oh, I do remember her! Oh, okay. Okay, I remember her. I remember her. She She's the Pachirisu girl. I, I don't know why, but I thought cat. Like, I saw the silhouette, and I thought, I thought like, cat ears. And that's kind of what I expected. I thought, I thought like, um... Like, if you guys have seen No Game No Life, I expected the girl with, like, the, the cat girls. I, I expected that. I expected something straight out of an anime. But no, instead we got uh, a, a Pachirisu-looking girl. That is so cute! That is so cute. I'm gonna go for the toxic, I feel. I think that'll be the smart move. He goes for the discharge. That is not very effective, but that animation is super cool. Oh my god. Oh my god, I love that so much. I'm gonna go for the toxic. Ivysaur has yet to be paralyzed, which is nice. Dude, just the toxic animation is so cool, too. I just, I love these animations. I feel like I'm getting way too excited over them, but, like, dude, they, they, they add a lot to the game. They add a lot to the game. Okay, we're gonna go for the magical leaf, do some more damage on this man, or on this woman. Uh, going for the bite. We should be able to take that, right? Right? You only have one tooth, alright? Wow, I feel like, I feel like its teeth were very misrepresented represented there. <laughs> I can't speak today. I literally was just talking about how, um... How you can't really bulk record or record in general unless you're like, you're in the mood for it, you know? Anyways, moving on, hit him with that magical leaf. I was gonna say though, the amount of teeth on that bite animation did not represent the amount of teeth he actually had. This man looking like Timmy Turner. Get out of here, Pachirisu, you try. Wait, do you only have one tooth too? I honestly can't tell. It looks like she has no teeth. If I'm being honest, it kind of looks like Pachirisu stole her tooth. It's a little bit wild. I'm gonna go for the magical leaf on Luxio. Uh, honestly, I probably should have brought... I should have brought Rhyhorn. She had a lot of electric types. I don't know what I was thinking. Uh, or did I bring Rhyhorn? No, I don't think I did. I think I brought the starters. Yeah, so we're kind of in a bad spot right now. Ivysaur, come on, man. Alright, uh, change of plans. I'm gonna go for... Leech Seed. Let's go for Leech Seed and Toxic, and let's just whittle this man down. If we're gonna... Oh, you went for Ice Fang. Okay, I don't know if we're gonna be doing much whittling. Oof, yeah. Yeah, we're not gonna be do. Oh no! Don't hit yourself. Ah, oh, okay. Ivysaur's kind of screwed. I'm gonna try and hit him with a last minute toxic. We're probably gonna die here though. He goes for bite. Yeah, Ivysaur's gone. Okay, so we're starting to have some sort of a challenge here. Um, Ivysaur got blown back. That's unfortunate. Look at how big he is though. Wait, dude, I didn't even realize this, but Ivysaur is huge! Dude, did you guys see when he backed up next to my trainer? I'll try and grab a screen cap. He looked huge! I don't know if that was just like a glitch or something, and maybe he wasn't at, as far back. He was kind of closer to the camera, but he looked like he was right next to the trainer, and he was a big boy. Damn. Let's go for a Fire Fang. I feel like that's smart. It's gonna do a good amount of neutral damage. Charmeleon's pretty offensive, so I think we'll be pretty good here. Hit him with that Fire Fang. Lux is gonna be doing- Oh, yo! Yo, Luxio, you're frail. You're a frail boy. That berry's not going to save you. Orinberry? Psh, get out of here. That 10 HP doesn't mean anything. He's going for the spark, though. That's going to be rough. Come on, Charmeleon. You're not flying type yet. Okay, sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Side note, I really like the confetti flying down from uh, from the sky. Look at all the confetti in the background. This entire Coliseum is just like a big old party. I love it. I love it. Luxio, get out of here. And they're all celebrating my victory. <laughs> Honestly, they should have a parade. Or is that what the balloons are? Maybe that's what the Beedoop and the Pachirisu balloon are for, is for a parade. After I win. <laughs> Honestly though, it, it really does look like a big ol' party. They should, they should throw a party here. I should have gone for the bite. I realized that after I hit Fire Fang, it would have made much more sense to go for the bite because that's super effective. This thing is not a fairy type just yet. Uh, but regardless, Fire Fang is gonna do a huge amount of damage. And he's gonna heal himself with, what, the Orenberry? Okay, cool. Uh, yo, we get the flinch! Curlia, get absolutely annihilated. Get annihilated. Shoot your finger gun. Blah. Alright. I think that's gonna be, that's gonna be game, right? And we got this Coliseum under wraps. No, actually, I don't remember what Coliseum gets unlocked next. But I really hope it's a Coliseum with a different game mode. Um, actually, another thing about it is probably the park one. Oh, dude, she's pissed. Wait, she said, I lost, but it was fun. That did not look like a, I lost, it was fun. That looked like a, I lost! <laughs> you cleared Main Street Coliseum, congratulations. Cool. 375 points will be given to you as a reward for clearing Main Street Coliseum knockout battle. Got 375 points, that's exactly what I came here for. Also, the Pikachu badge will be given to you as a reward for clearing Main Street Coliseum for the first time. Sweet! Sweet, can we start, like, character customizing? By the way, there's news for Poketopia. Waterfall Coliseum is open, yes! I love Waterfall! I love Waterfall! Okay, yo, I thought it was gonna be the park one, but yo, I love Waterfall. 
I actually, waterfalls like my favorite one. Zinchi Coliseum was surrounded by all sides by refreshing waterfalls. Hell yeah! Hell yeah, team battle. Okay, just like a martial arts team battle, Pokemon will battle in the order decided by their trainers. Cool. Is it a different battle mode? No, it's just single battles. Okay. But man, I really want to get some new mons before we get into this. Oh, shoot, let me, let me try and figure out how to get the Nate Pass, and then I'll be right back. One eternity later. Ugh. Okay, so instead of trying to figure out how to unlock the Nate Pass, I'm going to go through this copy of Pokemon Pearl and see if I can, if I can grab any mons from it. Uh, because honestly, I feel like there's got to be a good save file on here, and I just want to see if I can grab like a, a something different. You know, I want a different team. That's what I want. I don't want to use the same mons for like the entire game. So I'm gonna go ahead try and figure this out, and uh, we'll rock out with it. There might not be any mons in here, or there might be too good of mons because I don't want to import like a bunch of legends. You know, I really don't want to go that route. So, so yeah, let me let me get this set up, and uh, we'll see what happens. Uh. All right, so we do have a save file on here. We have Ash with eight badges. That's a, that's promising. That's promising. I don't actually know or remember what this, what this is though. Like I don't remember what mons I had. I don't even know if it's my save file. It might be my brother's. I don't even know. But honestly, naming myself Ash, that sounds like something I would do. So we have Ash here. Which PC should be accessed? And honestly, if I name myself Ash, then that probably means this was from a while ago. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, we have poop. Poop the Gastrodon, the MVP. Oh my God. Okay, this is a really old save file. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay, all the boxes are separated into types. I remember doing this. I remember doing this. Yeah, no, this is a super, super, super old save file. But we have a lot of options here. Okay, what's the party looking like, dude? Bro, a shiny dark eye. Where did I get this? Okay. <laughs> fucking, we fucking fart. Okay, and then we have A, the Azum roll. Yeah, this is like, dude, this is an old, old save file. This might be my first save file. I don't even, I don't even know for sure, but this actually could be. So you know what? What we're gonna do is we're gonna send some of these Pokemon over. But I think to do that, we have to go back to Battle Revolution. Uh, with the rear mode of Minor. Oh shoot, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I apologize. Storage. Okay, copy Pokemon. I really hope this still works, because the problem is we're not using a Wii, we're using, we're not using a DS and a Wii, we're using a 3DS and a Wii U. Hopefully it still works. Copy Pokemon, get a D use the DS game already has a Pokemon game, turn the power of 3DS system which have a DS Pokemon game inserted, proceed to the DS Pokemon game's menu screen and select connect to Wii. Okay, shoot, so I gotta shut down my 3DS. Alright, here we go, Pokemon Pearl. Let's see. Let us see. I really hope it, it gives us the option to connect to Wii, because... Like, if I have to do this with, like, an actual Wii, that's gonna make us such a... <gasps> yes! Alright, cool! Let's go! Let's go! This is the highlight of this game! I absolutely love that everything is is connected. Because I remember there's also a way, if you have two DSs and two copies of, of a Gen 4 game, you can... You can battle... Like, you can have the battle show up on your TV on Battle Revolution, but then, like, pick your moves on the respective DSs, and that's so cool. That is so freaking cool. Yo, look at the DS screen. Look at the Wii screen. Oh my god. This is working beautifully. This is actually working beautifully. I love this. Copy Pokemon from the DS Pokemon game. Okay. Sweet. So now we're going to have a bunch of new mons to work with. Uh, let me know down below, like, based on the mons that... We'll, we'll go through and actually look at them here on the Wii, but... Based on the mons that we have, let me know down below... Uh, what, what mons... Or what team you would like to see us build uh, out of these mons. I don't think I'm going to throw the Dark Ride in there. I don't think I'm going to throw... The, um, you know, I don't think I'm going to throw the Suicune on there because that just seems ridiculously overpowered. And, uh, I think they'll be set to level 50, which isn't bad. But, uh, yeah, let me show off my 3DS here. Okay, was successfully completed. Press any button to return to the reception desk. Sweet. Sweet. That was much easier than I thought. And I'm really, really glad it was. Your Pokemon data has been copied to storage. You can create your own custom pass now. Yes, new battle pass has also been added. Okay. Wait, so what's the new battle pass? Do I get some new mons that they're just gonna give me just for the fact that I transferred over mons? Alright, check storage. Let's figure out what we have to work with here and let's try and build a team uh, for this upcoming Coliseum. So we have a lot of Pokemon here. Um, it's nice that it gives you an overview of all the boxes. That is so, so convenient. Uh, but based on all this, I think we should try and build like... Because I think they're all gonna be set level 50. So we could probably rock out with like Gastrodon and Empoleon. Um, as well as maybe Tauros would be pretty cool. I mean, we have a lot of options here, which is sweet. So yeah, let me know what kind of team you guys want to see, uh, down below in the comment section. I don't, 
I'm gonna be bulk recording, so I don't know if I'll be able to, um, if I'll be able to, like, address it in the exact next episode, but in the next, next episode, I might be able to. Uh, like, after this bulk recording session, I'm able to go through and look at your, look at your suggestions. But I do actually remember this game, which is kind of wild. Okay, so let's create a new pass. Custom pass is creating using a blank pass. Yeah, okay, I remember all these. Alright, not gonna lie, I'm really, really, really digging this one. So we'll rock out with it, create a custom pass. Um, okay, this guy looks the most like me. I already know. I don't even have. I don't even have to go through these, the these these trainer classes to know this guy is actually me. So we'll go, young boy. A trainer's name. He's not Nate. We don't need Nate anymore. We are ourselves. We are me. I I have I have become. I have associated. I have uh, assumed my final form. Um, but yeah, no, what's really interesting about this game that I didn't realize when I first started playing it is that you kind of need. A Gen 4 game, and you you kind of need a 3DS to really enjoy this game, or not a 3DS, but like a DS. You know, like you need you need to have a Gen 4 game and be able to connect your your party to to the Wii, or else you're really really limited in what you can do with this game. But like just be, just from like us opening up our entire PC box, like imagine if we had like a whole stack of Pokemon. Like if, imagine if we had a full complete Pokedex. We could do a lot of cool stuff in this game. Uh, I said he has Pokemon parties, so the Pokemon from our event, the storage pass. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. So I think we're going to go ahead and grab most of the Pokemon from my party. Um, we can grab, like, some of those powerful mons. I also, I don't want to be too overpowered, though. Let's grab, let's grab freaking Fart. Why not, dude? Fart, he's a freaking legend. I could tell he's going to become an MVP. Uh, we'll also scoop up Floatzel because I absolutely love Floatzel. Uh, I want to try and make the team somewhat balanced, so we'll also scoop up. I don't know, I have a lot of water types here. Uh, I don't want to be too, too water heavy. Um, hmm. We grab a Starly. <laughs> I mean, if they're set to level 50, we, we could. We could just grab a Starly, because why not? I, I know we have a Staraptor in here. Yeah, you know, let's, let's grab a Staraptor. Let's grab a Staraptor. I don't want to make the team too overpowered, though, because, like, we're still pretty early on in the game, and, like, I don't want to just sweep through everything. Let's see. We can grab Girafferig. This guy, the Girafferig seems pretty cool. We could rock out with him. What moves does he have? He has Ultra Suit, Stomp, Sabium, and Jelly. All right, sweet. Sweet, we will rock out with that. Uh, our fifth mon, we could really use like a fire type. Good thing I have them sorted by type. Am I right? Am I right? That's psychic. Uh, where's fire? Unknown. Oh, it's just an egg. I thought it actually had an unknown in there, and I got really pumped because I totally would throw an unknown on the team. Shinx, we could grab a Shinx. Uh, you know what? Let's grab a Bidoof. Level two Bidoof. Let's freaking go! Shout out to my boy Sorry from the Y Egg Lock. If you guys have been around since the Y Egg Lock, then you guys know what's up. You guys know what's up. He's a freaking legend. Let's grab Drifloom too, because why not? Why not? Alright, so we'll rock out with this for now. It really is just like a random assortment of Pokemon. I didn't really have any, um... I didn't have anything, any, like, concept or any plan going into that. I just kind of grabbed a bunch of random mods. So, if you guys have any better suggestions, let me know down below in the comment section. But with that being said, we're going to wrap this episode up right here. In the next episode, we'll get started on the Waterfall Coliseum with our new pass. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are freaking beautiful. And I will see you dudes next time. Peace! Bye! <laughs>